personal connection with Heart of Worcestershire College. I'm a proud mum of an apprentice who's studying auto mechanics. He's in level three. And I've seen for myself how much he's flowered and blossomed through the opportunities that this college, not this site, but another site, has provided for him. He's come out of his shell. He feels confident. He's got a career. He's been working now for three years. So that's just one example of thousands of young people across this whole region. And it's, it's just a really fantastic example of investment in our young people. And I think just from a national perspective, we all know how important it is to make sure that young people do have those opportunities, especially after the devastation of the pandemic that Satnam, you, you mentioned. And I think it's just absolutely true. All of us who work with young people know what an impact that has had and, and really how awful it's been. So that's why I it's so exciting to see the, these facilities like this, this fantastic facility that you've got here today and I can't wait to see what else uh, you have got on offer as well. And I think for me this is also a theme of the government nationally. We do need to invest in these practical, tangible, vocational skills. The government has committed considerable amounts of, of investment actually. I think it's £1.4 billion pounds worth into further and higher education and vocational education. Of course, we always need to keep pushing for more, and I've consistently championed that in Parliament and, and with ministers, the need that we have, especially in an area like Redditch and my constituency, for these skills. And every single time I talk to businesses, they always say to me, the biggest challenge really is their workforce, it's their skills, it's getting the people. And you are an absolutely integral part of building that thriving economy, equipping young people with the skills for the future. So I just want to thank everybody here who I know has worked so hard to make this happen against a backdrop of challenges, as, as you've said, and I'm sure it's been really difficult through the pandemic. And I just want to wish you all the best for the future. And thank you very much indeed for having me here today.